This was everything. More. Before we get into today's video, I just had to show y'all what came in the mail. I ordered this discovery set from Dossier. You guys know I've been wearing their luxury perfumes for literally years now. And they recently launched a discovery set that comes with like 10 different travel size fragrances. This set is perfect for someone who wants to try Dossier but not really sure where to start. Um, or someone who's just constantly on the go and loves to travel and needs travel size perfume. This set includes some of my personal favorites from Fruity Almond, Floral Marshmallow, and many more. They also offer Shop Pay, if you guys can look right under the Add to Cart option, um, where you can pay in four different interest-free payments. So that way you're not having to pay for it all up front, which I absolutely love. Be sure to check out the description box below if you're interested in Dossier. I'll also have their link to their website. And then I'll also have a discount code for you guys to save some coin whenever you're at checkout. But I just thought this was so cute. I was like, I got to show them this. Um, but yeah, thanks again, Dossier, for coming up with this set. I absolutely love it. Now, let's get back into the video. Wednesday at like 10 30 and we finna head to the gym I'm not gonna do too much like skincare and stuff like that I'm just gonna brush my teeth and put some chapstick on because as soon as we get back I'm gonna take me a long relaxing shower but um yeah we're just getting ready for the gym I was debating going to work today but I feel like my main focus for the day needs to be getting the house together. I ordered so much stuff that I want to upgrade the house with, like stuff for the bedroom, stuff for the bathroom. I want to reorganize the kitchen, you know, and just kind of have like my own reset or whatever. I honestly have like 10 boxes in the kitchen on the floor that have not been opened and they've been here for weeks because I've just been busy as hell. But, um, and I wanted to make sure I did it with y'all. But yeah, that's pretty much our goal for today um, is to just go to the gym for like 30, 45 minutes, nothing crazy, and then come back, take a nice relaxing shower, put on something comfortable, and there's like a little bit of laundry to do, the floors need to be vacuumed, mopped, all the stuff I bought for the house um, I need to put up and organize. I have like a caddy behind the shower. 
I want to get back to the eucalyptus being there. So I got different shelves for the shower walls, like just different stuff like that. Because I feel like the house needed a little sprucing up. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. I picked up some flowers yesterday at the store. So I want to cut those and vase those. I've also prepared to ship away the giveaway stuff. Sorry it took so long. Thank y'all so, so much for your patience. But it's exactly how I wanted it now. So I'm going to go ship that off later tonight. But as far as during the day, my main goal is to go to the gym. Which we're about to do right now. Come back and get this get this house completely snatched up random fact toby keith died last night and rest in peace to him because he was so fine and i used to work at his restaurant and yeah we're from the same place so rest in paradise to kobe toby keith because he just my motherfucking tired okay but no on a serious note that was really sad he had like stomach cancer i believe that sounded random but i just was reading about it so yeah but anyways i'm dressed i got all my little leggings and my little hoodie we are snatching the house snatching the body then snatching the house and then later tonight we are cooking i think some bowls like some grilled chicken bowls some healthy healthy and yummy but for now i'm about to grab my shoes and head out we're gonna wear these why i don't know but that's what we're doing but yeah my house is kind of slightly in shambles so i feel like going to work like i would make some money but it'd make me feel more in shambles but my thought process behind it was i don't like working too many days in a row so i could go today and then friday and saturday was like where i was going with that but yeah like i said i don't know like I just want to get the house together first and then we can go to work this weekend going today would be kind of rushing me we'll just go this to probably tomorrow tomorrow Friday and Saturday yep but we're lacing the shoes up so I've been trying to challenge y'all and it I haven't been perfect but I've been doing really good so I've been doing decent. But yeah, someone's telling me to go Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I ain't gonna lie. Something's just telling me to do that. I might actually go put myself on schedule today. Or I might text my manager and tell him to put me on schedule so that way I feel like I have to go. <laughs> and that way all my stuff will be cheaper, like my house fee and my payouts and all that will be cheaper. It'll probably save me a couple hundred dollars if I put myself on schedule. But yeah. Let's head to the gym. Hey, got Hey, got it. Oh, oh. Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like though? Why this make you feel like though? Yeah. Come wine till you broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your broke off your broke off your back, if you broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Tell it who you got to do, who you got to do, who you got to do. Come broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your broke off your broke off your back, girl. Who you are wrong with? I don't hear you. Anytime you're ready, girl. Don't hear you. all right y'all so it's like i want to say it's let me just check the time oh y'all see my felicia braids <laughs> It's 11.20 and I just got the phone call that my car is ready. Y'all haven't had my car in like a month, okay? Because my car got messed up. I literally haven't had my car since my boyfriend's birthday. 
because my car got messed up. Do y'all remember when I was out shopping or whatever? And then I had to go home, have the police follow me. Then the store, the, the weather was messed up. I had to wait for all that to clear up. Then I had my car towed to the dealership. They were lying and shit. So I had to tow it to a different mechanic's office. And I was finally ready. So I feel like I should just go ahead and get ready for the day. Brush my teeth. I'm going to hop in the shower and just rinse off. And then um, I'm going to go pick my car up. And I was going to wait for my boyfriend to get off work to go ship off the giveaway stuff um but since my car is ready right now i can just uber to my car and then drive to back home pick up the stuff and then go to the post office and do it myself oh yeah i need to call my grandma because i'm shipping her y'all know that gray wig um i'm shipping that to my mom's job so my grandma can have that wig and I also, hold on, I'm glad I thought about that because I can't forget my grandma's wig before I, before I go to the post office because I want to, I want her to have that gray wig. Like my grandma has worn wigs forever. Okay, let me call my grandma and tell her about this and then I'm going to hop in the shower and we'll be on our way to get the car and go run some errands. I have not been driving in so long, which I don't like driving, so that's been okay, but let me tell my grandma about this wig and stuff. And the other thing I had to tell her because this is important too. Here she go. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I was texting you just now too. So Granny, I have two things I need to talk to you about. Okay. Okay, the first thing is I don't know if I showed you, but you know that gray wig. Well, I don't think I showed you, but there's a gray wig I recently had. And uh -huh. um, I think it would, it's more for the older crowd, you know, but it looks cute. And I'm going to send it to mama's job and she's going to curl it and stuff for you and give it to you. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's, Thank you. you're welcome. I can send you pictures of it. It's like layered and it has like some bangs. It's real cute. Okay. It's okay. not too long. It's not too crazy because I know you don't like the dramatic wigs. That's true. And then, <laughs> and then the other thing, the other thing I need to talk to you about was there's this thing that I'm gonna send you. Uh -huh. I remember you used to play like, um, well, I feel like I've seen you play like games on your phone before. Uh huh. Okay, so this this is a link that I'm gonna send you that you can download and they have a bunch of different kind of games, but when you earn stuff in the games, you can trade it in for actual money. Okay. So I, <laughs> so I was like, I was trying to think of somebody with an Android and I was like, okay, I know mama probably knows some people at her job with an Android, but yeah, I'll send you the link and- I do. Okay. I do, I do play certain games to kind of wind down. To wind down and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to send you the link to the games. And then I'm sending your wig off today. And mama, okay. sh mama should have the wig in a few days. But um, I been I was meaning to give it to you. I just had to wait until what I was doing with it was done. You know what I mean? Okay. 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 <laughs> I can't, can't wait to see it. The, you can't wait to see the wig? Because uh -huh. I'm sure I like it. I'm sure you'll like it. It's yeah. a salt, It's a salt and pepper wig. Okay, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> All righty. But I'll so send I'm you. The, I'm, at, I'm at the out and about shopping now, so um, I'm going to pay for, the, for this item I'm going to get, and then I'll try to call you maybe when I get home. Okay, I'm about to send you the link to the games, too. Okay. All, All right, right, bye. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. So, my grandma will be playing hella games, and I'm like, you could be earning money off them games. So, if y'all know somebody that um plays like games on their phone if they have an android have them download it i would play the games myself and earn the money but it's literally for androids only and i have an iphone so that this is one moment where i'm kind of salty that i have an apple phone because if i had the android i would be doing it myself like i'd be laying in the bed scrolling and i could be making some money some money on okay but now i'm about to send let me make sure i remember to send that link to my grandma to tap champs tap champs okay 
I just sent um, the link to the game to my, to my grandma, but I need to make sure I when I come back, I need to grab her wig. Because the thing is, I don't want to pack all y'all's giveaway stuff in the Uber to get the car. I wish I could, but then, I mean, could I? That just seems like a lot. I just feel like I should just stop back by here and grab it. I'm going to stop it by here, but for now, I'm about to put some soft right in my head because it's been a little bit itchy. And then shower, throw something on, throw me a head wrap on, probably because I'm not doing a wig today, just a head wrap. And then go get the car and then the giveaway stuff. So excited for y'all to get y'all stuff. Okay, y'all, something about showering and then running an errand and then coming back in just sounds crazy. So I'm honestly just supposed to get dressed. I'm not fit to shower right now. I'm just going to throw my head wrap on and throw some chapstick on. I brush my teeth. Do a little perfume action. I'm not like stinky or nothing. I literally did um, calf raises and squats, dumbbell squats in the gym. So it's not like I went super hard. After like my third set, I got the phone call about my car. So like I didn't even, I wasn't even in the gym for a full 30, 45 minutes. It was probably like 20 minutes. So, basically bumped that. I'm just going to go and then I'll get my errands out the way and then we'll be home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then here lately, I've been putting this on my lips. And it's been feeling good. Get my purse and shit, but yeah. pick up a car for Morgan Billingsley. For who? Morgan Billingsley. Okay. Did you see it out there? I did not even look. Okay. Where the keys are, it should be right out here, so we'll check it and make sure. Okay. You work at a restaurant? I do not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Most of our folks that come in that do, that's the way they come in to pay. All right, looks like 137226. You are good, young lady. Okay, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> no, okay, that's no problem whatsoever. Okay. That's no problem at all. It all spins. I'm going to walk out with you. Okay. Right, but I think it's right on the side of the hill. That okay. Way you're walking over a whole, a whole lot trying to find it. Is there some type of warranty associated with this? 12 months, 12,000 mile warranty. Okay. Yeah, this is your backboard here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can go have a swap sometime. I can't tell you how much you do. Like, you No, you don't. Oh, really? You. Yeah. Oh, that's it right yep. there. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Have a good day. You too. Okay, y'all. So we finally got the car back. Finally got the car back. So this was Simpson Auto Repair. And I just want to say that they were like super nice from beginning to end. Like on the phone when I called in, all the reviews are amazing about the customer service and about women being able to come here without getting like messed over, you know? Um... So I felt like, you know, because when you're a girl and you call into these types of places, they do BS you. And my dad is a mechanic. Like, I know this firsthand. Like, they hear a woman's voice and get excited because they know it's a lick. You feel me? But here, they were very, very fast. My car has only been at this particular dealership for two days. Today's Wednesday. My car got here Monday. My car got here Monday in the middle of the day, and it's Wednesday, and they text me and saying it was done. So they literally got my car done in one day. If it was ready today, that means it was done probably last night. And they processed it this morning. So they literally got my car done in two days max. And, um, hold on. How do I make sure I turn the, okay, there it is. 
but yeah i'm just like they took care of my car they communicated with me even when they got it and realized the car was dead like they communicated that with me as well and i just appreciate they their professionalism and even while i'm here they're like open doors and being very nice to me like the other people that i dealt with wyatt johnson ford in nashville 646 thompson lane never go there they are absolutely terrible i haven't left them a review but like they're terrible like they'll start your car without permission and try and make you pay for it which i end up getting a check back for that because you didn't have permission to start to start my car and you started it they end up paying me two bands for that they were in the wrong and i had proof of it so it's just like they're rude they're argumentative like 646 thompson lane why Jones and ford in nashville never deal with them i'm telling you right now like simpson auto repair is literally like two or three miles away from the Ford dealership and they will take care of you and be professional and very affordable too like very 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 their quote was like 50 percent less of what the dealership was and the dealership tried to let me know that that's just oh you're not gonna find it bitch watch this the fuck call my man and let him know we saved 500 dollars but yeah i'm about to head back to the house grab the stuff for the giveaway and go to the um Go to the post office. Okay, y'all. So, earlier I went to go do my eye exam. And then, pretty much the tea on that is I have a prescription in my left eye. I don't have a prescription in my right eye. I don't know when that happened. Because the last time I got an eye exam, they were both the same. But I don't know what's up with that. But I ordered the blue light glasses from Amazon instead of having my Vuglam glasses lenses switched out because it was just cheaper and easier for me to just order the blue light glasses off of Amazon and do it that way. So I did that this morning and I grabbed me some Chick-fil-A breakfast and yeah, that was that was the vibe. So it is now Thursday. It's like 7 12. Um, I'm all dressed and showered and ready for work. I'm going to tie up a few loose ends, like grabbing my speaker, straighten up the bathroom a little bit. I have on like this little tan two-piece, super cute. I'm going to throw in a cardigan over it in case it's cold when I go. But yeah, that is pretty much it. My speaker's right here charging. A little selfie light. Put my makeup bag up. But I pretty much just rested today. Um... My appointment for my eyes was at 10, but I was up at like 8. So I was like, let me just go and get it over with so I can come home and rest. I've been cramping. So I was like, let me go ahead and work this weekend. And then hopefully my period doesn't come until like Sunday. But I can work now and get it over with. And that way I can rest the entire time on my cycle. But this battery is dying. So I'm about to grab everything I need. And then I will see y'all at the club. Shake it that. Shake it that. We just got to work. I'm gonna figure out what we're about to wear. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it simple and wear these shoes with this dress. It's like a stretchy fishnet dress. Get out all my stuff. Go ahead and have a red pool too. Put my sanitizer in here and my gum. There's not really anybody here right now, but it is like not even eight o'clock. So it's a little dead right now, but it will pick up. It, of course, will pick up. I have this butt plug, but I'm looking for the other one. I'm pretty sure I put it. Okay, this is the one I like to wear. So these are the two different butt plugs I have. They're clean, but I still keep them in towels. This one's like super, super, super sparkly. 
whole ass diamond and this one's just like has sparkles in it but it's like clear i like this i like wearing this one more it's just you can see it better this one's still okay it's like a backup like last time i worked and i didn't pack this one i forgot it so i wore this one so it's kind of like a backup but yeah gonna get dressed and then yeah make some money on it okay I'm trying to get myself together what time is it it's 10 51 so like earlier it was only me and two other girls on stage or like in the building at all and they were tipping on stage um i did like two dances two 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 for 30 so a total of four dances and then this guy that tipped me i went up to him and talked to him and we ended up doing like time and he paid for hella time and in the middle of it we added another girl and then some girl called his phone and he like gave the other girl the phone to answer in the vip and she was like oh my god where are you guys at and he claims it's his best friend but he also kept saying like fuck her fuck her so i don't know who she was but like she just called him and was like i'm outside like i was talking to her on the phone helping her figure out how to get here to pick him up and um he just left basically and he had us in there until like 11:45. but i guess he decided you know he was telling me from the beginning like whenever my friends call me i have to go so i knew he was gonna eventually just have to cut the room short but you know it's whatever uh -oh. so this is the cash we have so far not a crazy amount Here's some tins. I like to straighten it out so that it's together. But it's really early and I've already made like really good money. So tonight should be good. I'm glad I made money early so I can film a little bit more. But let me spray my little sanitizer. And then let me count this money. I'm gonna add up what I have in blue cash so far. So we have 125 plus 250 plus 250 plus 125. So that's 750. And then let's add up our cash. I just wanna know where I'm at in the middle of the night, you know? It's not even midnight yet. That's 194. So let's see. So yeah. The night is starting off great. I am a little sleepy, so I got a Red Bull. I'm also kind of hungry, so I may order some food. But as of now, I'm about to freshen up, redo my lips because they feel a little dry, and then head back out there. Yeah, so it's 10 56 to 11, so. Let's hit the floor. See how much more money we can make. That was our first little finesse of the night. Well, let's keep it going. Hey y'all. So it is the next morning and I'm on the couch because, wait, where's my phone? Did I not just put my phone? 
What the? Okay, there it go. I was trying to get my phone. I got my extension cord and my charger. Are we on the couch with it today, y'all. Sometimes I just like the vibes in the living room, like the couch. The living room's actually kind of dirty. The house is dirty, but I just feel like being on the couch today. I'm going to put some TV on or whatever, but I just want to tell y'all about last night. So, first of all, y'all know I'm supposed to be doing my little health challenge this month. I'm so disappointed because I had McDonald's last night. It was absolutely disgusting. I haven't had McDonald's in months, and they don't have to worry about me no more because, honestly, I was hungry, and that was the only thing that was open. I didn't want to drive all the way to Waffle House, so I was like, let me swing by. But what did I expect, right? It's McDonald's. But sometimes they hit. But that's what I get for breaking my shit on my challenge because I shouldn't. I had no business going to McDonald's. And it was absolutely disgusting, right? So there, there's that. What else? Okay, so last night at work, y'all, I am so glad I went. Something was telling me to go. Something was telling me to go. And I'm so glad I went, okay? Y'all, the stripper gods was looking out for a bitch last night, like, honestly. And I know y'all are probably thinking, girl, you count your money on the cover out. Well, okay, I'm going to reset next week. I bought new covers and everything. But our money, this is our money from last night. And then we have some more money, too, that I'm not counting on here. But this was everything. And then we got another stack over here. I already counted it. I ain't gonna lie. We made, hold on, it's in my calculator. Let me pull it up because I'm keeping track of this weekend. This is what we made last night. On a Thursday. I really made more than that. But I was tipping out. Um, I didn't tip out like crazy. But yeah. That's what we that's what we went home with. And I ain't gonna lie. Like the last few days I worked. It hasn't been like that. It's been like eight. Or like a, a thousand. Which is still freaking amazing. But last night. Was like. Sometimes what I make in a whole weekend. You know. Like. Three bands in one night is freaking amazing. Like, that is amazing. So, this is our not from Thursday. I'm going back tonight and tomorrow because, like I said, I am cramping. I don't know if I told y'all that or not. I'm cramping. They're not constant, but they're, like, spread out. And I feel like my cycle's coming, like, any second. I'm not supposed to start till next week, but I figured I'd work this whole weekend and make as much as I can. That way I can take the next week completely off and just relax and edit and stuff. I clocked out at like 3.13, but I stopped working at like 2.15. There was a line to leave. There was a line to clock out because something had happened with the ATM. Like a dude had pulled some bread out the ATM and... The ATM approved the transaction but never gave him the cash is what he says. I didn't see it, but that's what he said. And the manager was dealing with that, like trying to unlock the ATM and do a whole bunch of extra shit. So, like, we had to wait to clock out for a while because he was the only manager there last night. And I don't know. I should have honestly stayed till 5, but the only thing I ate yesterday was that Chick-fil-A breakfast. Like, I had, like, a 10 cow chicken minis, chicken minis, whatever, however you say it. And some hash browns. I know that's greedy. Okay, I wanted six or eight. They was like, we don't do six or eight, either four or ten. I'm like, y'all some hoes. So I got ten, right? It was bomb. No problem at all. But I was still full when I went to work. So, like, I didn't eat at work. I thought about ordering a pizza or something. But then I just kind of got tired of, like, approaching people, which I should have stayed. Because when you have a night like that, like... You might as well stay to the end just to see what you can, what else you can do. But I was thinking, you know, this is day one. I'm already hungry. I'm already tired. I've already made, like, literally three bags at this point. Like, I just need to go home and rest up and be ready for Friday and Saturday. Um, so that's, that's just what I felt like I needed to do. I could have probably stayed and took another break and did all that. But I had already took my break and made my last round and did all that. So I was just kind of like, you know what? I'm blessed. I'm going to take my three bands and go get some rest because I was tired. I had been running around earlier that day at the eye doctor and stuff like that. So I just came home at like 3, 
13. But yeah, that McDonald's was absolutely disgusting. Okay. And also, the reason why this is not a full money count is because it's really like, it's not a lot of ones. It's mainly big bills. That's why I just showed y'all the calculator. It was, to me, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of big bills. It's only like 100 and some ones in here. The rest of it is literally 120s and 50s. But yeah, last night was so, so, so good. Like, and then that was like the start of the weekend. Like I still have Friday and Saturday. So we're gonna make a lot of good money this weekend. That was like Thursday usually be like the appetizer, but Thursday, that was like really good. I am gonna stay all night tonight and all night tomorrow just because like I said, I wanna take like a week or so off when my cycle comes. So yeah, that's that. Um, I feel like there's nothing really like nothing really crazy happened last night. Like there wasn't a lot of girls. Um, the VIPs I had were like cool. I will say every VIP I had, they wanted to keep tipping, but like their card stopped working. That really, 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 really sucks. Cause like the bank be cock blocking. Like this man is not being held for ransom like he's fully aware of his decisions right now if he wants to run that motherfucking car then let him okay let him i feel like the bank like if they text you once and ask is are you approving this charge and you say yes i feel like they should just keep that up you know but the whole daily limit and then like oh well i'm not from here so it's probably blocking it because i'm not from here like all that shit is annoying like let the nigga have a good time he came here to have a good time. Y'all gonna fucking block his card. That happened to every single VIP I had. Every single one. Block, the card just stopped working and they would pull up their mobile app and showed me that they had hella money in their bank. It was just, the bank was just kind of like, you know, like either they had hit their daily limit and they couldn't really do anything about it or the bank just cut them off thinking that it was fraud even though they approved the charge. It was very weird, like every single one. And I still, like if the banks wouldn't have been doing that, I honestly probably could have had probably two more bands. Like I'm not even trolling because they were, they were trying to swipe the cards like at the ATM, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It just was, at some point the bank is like, hey, that's enough, you know? But that's some cock blocking ass shit because I could have really came up. Like I had some very quality rooms, you know, and they they were the type there where they really wasn't fucked up about how much they spent. Like at one point the dude was like, How much do you want? And I told him and he's like, Okay, cool, let's let's go do that. And I'm like, Bet, like that's what I like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't they weren't like, Well, am I gonna get to stick it in or anything like that? Like they was actually so cool and it didn't take very much like convincing or they weren't being mannish and groping or none of that. They was just trying to literally pay. They was just trying to pay like, but the banks were stopping the cards. So I was like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. I made my money, you know? Sometimes I'll be like more and more and more, but at some point I'm like, shit, the, at this point, the bank cutting us off. It's not even him, it's the bank. So there's no point in asking for no more money, it's the bank. I wasn't finna get his number and be doing all that. I used to do that a lot, but I just feel like I'm not finna be texting you. I'm not finna be answering the phone. Like, I'm not finna be doing any of that, so it's no point in getting my number, honestly. I don't even go to work enough to even have a regular no more. Like, I used to have regulars and stuff, but I really just, I really just be chilling, so I don't, I don't really be, like, doing the whole date shit. Like, I've been on a few dates and shit like that out here with, like, tricks and shit. But I really don't be on that no more. Like, I was never really on it like that hella. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't, like, bust a few dates out here in Nashville. Because I did. But, I mean, I don't know. I just be chilling now. I barely go to work and I don't want to deal with that if I don't even want to deal with the inside the club, what the fuck make you think I want to deal with it outside the club? I don't. So when they get to ask me for my number, I get that. Well, we'll see. That's it. If you don't want to fuck with me, cool. I don't care. And that's just that. I know some girls be itching to give a nigga that number and can't wait for a trick to text them and stuff. And I get it, but it get old. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do all that. You know where I work, you know where I be, you know what days I'm probably gonna be here. If you wanna see me, you'll come here. 
that's just how I feel. I'm not going out to eat. I'm not coming over. I'm not going to the hotel. I no, I ain't doing none of that. I got I, I could be at home rubbing my feet together. <laughs> that's just how I feel. But I did have my days of that, and it was nice, you know, real good time. But that is it. It's nine forty six. Like I said, I'm about to put something on TV and like crash out on the couch. I might make me some food because I am getting kind of hungry. I already made my tea last night, so I've been drinking my tea cold here lately, and it's been good. It tastes like unsweet tea. It's bomb. Um, I've been just feeling the cold tea here lately. At one point, I was straight hot. Like, I had to have my tea hot, but here lately, i just been putting it on ice, and it's been bomb. What was I saying? I'm about to figure out if I'm going to make some breakfast or not. Turn something on the TV. Oh, that's what I meant to tell y'all. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, so y'all know the documentary that we filmed for Stripped Nashville? That's what it was. A lot of y'all were asking me at the time that it was being filmed and I couldn't discuss it. So it's called Stripped Nashville, okay? I will, I will let the trailer play right here. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I will have a link to the trailer and then I'll have a link to where you can purchase it or rent it i think it's like 3.99 to rent it where you can watch the whole thing it's an hour and i think 30 minutes i haven't watched it yet everyone at the club told me that they watched it and they loved my segment on it and they really think th that we represent in nashville and dancers in general very well um i get very cringy like I cringe editing my videos, seeing myself speak, seeing myself articulate, and just seeing myself on camera actually does make my skin crawl. I don't know why I've been doing this for a few years now, and I don't know. I don't know if I will ever shake that feeling. Like, there's times where my YouTube will autoplay, and it'll be one of my videos playing, and I'm like, oh, you know, like, oh my god. It's just, it feels embarrassing. It's kind of like when you hear a voicemail of yourself, and you hear your voice, and it's like, turn it off. That's what it feels like. Um... So it's a little weird for me to like, this was a, a filming project that I had no control over. Like I couldn't see it and be like, I didn't like that. Let's reshoot it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of just had to trust their judgment um, as far as my angles and how I looked or, you know, just anything like, like, did y'all tell me if a bitch lace was fucked up? Like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't watched it yet. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. A lot of y'all said that y'all wanted me to watch it and um, maybe do a live or maybe do a reaction video where I watch it with y'all and like pause and talk, blah, blah, blah. And I may do that. I don't know. Definitely won't happen this weekend because I'm just working and chilling, working and chilling. May happen in the future, just not this weekend. But I'll leave the information in the description box if you guys want to watch it. Um, it's available on YouTube. They were trying to get stars to pick it up at first, but I don't think that that contract went through with stars. Um, and I think we're still waiting on the link from Amazon Prime. I, th I believe it will be available eventually on Amazon, but right now it is on Hulu and it is on YouTube. I believe it's going to be on Tubi. I'm not hundred percent on that. There's still, I'm still waiting on, it just came out to, like literally Tuesday. Today's Friday. It just came out. When y'all see me post that, that thumbnail picture, that's when it had came out when I posted the trailer. Um, no, I posted a thumbnail picture on Facebook. I posted the trailer and the link for you to actually go watch it. But if you guys are interested in the description box of this video, I'll have the link. Obviously, at the top, you'll have the sponsor information, the people that sponsor this video. But then, you know, keep scrolling. You will see Stripped Nashville in the description box. And that's where I'll have the link to the trailer as well as the link to where you can rent it on YouTube and actually watch it. I think it's like $3.99. Nothing crazy. And it's also a DVD and all that too. So yeah. I might buy it on DVD. Or I might buy it just to have it and maybe show it, you know, later in life it will be. Right now I'm still in this chapter slightly, but I feel like later in life it's going to be a very vital like pivot point of my success story so I might buy it for that purpose only and it may be months from now when I watch it with y'all I don't know I'm gonna watch it I just don't know when I need to mentally prepare for it okay because that was a very um vulnerable and very personal I don't know if they realized it the people that filmed it but that was a big deal for me you know what I'm saying I invited them into my home 
and I told them my story. I did not hold back anything, any trauma that I've been through, um, the things that I've been through in the club or in the game in general, um, the business I have going on. Like I didn't, I you know, I let them into my personal space, which as you guys know, I don't do that. Nobody can tell you they've been to my house. Nobody can tell you that. Y'all have. Y'all can watch it all day long on this screen, but nobody can tell you they've been to my house. I'm very, like, I'm a very closed-off person. I'm open on the camera because y'all are my family, and, it, you know, this is a little bit different. But on some real-life shit, I don't fuck with people. I don't fuck with people coming to my house. I don't fuck with telling people, you know, the stuff that I've been through. On a personal level, I don't like being vulnerable with people. I feel like I built a bond with y'all, so I'm a little bit open with y'all. There's some things that I've opened up to y'all about, and I'm still shedding layers with y'all as we speak. Like, I just recently talked about, you know, Christianity and stuff like that. I've opened up about certain things I've done in the past that I'm not so proud about. But it's just, I'm a very, very, like, private and ducked off person. So that whole thing, like, being around a bunch of strippers and um having people in my house every single day and taking people to every spot that I'm at where I'm going to go get my makeup done going to go do like just having people in my life and routine outside of the camera it was very different and then to also shed light on like things that I've gone through in the industry it was very 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 hard and um a very vulnerable thing for me it wasn't like a cute little oh film yourself shaking ass on stage money woo like no they got deep you know what I'm saying? It's a documentary. So that was very different for me. So I don't know when I'm going to watch it. Like I said, I have to mentally prepare for it. But I did have fun doing it. It was stressful at times. But overall, I enjoyed it. I think it's really cool. And I think they made us, from what I could tell from the trailer, it was we were represented very well. You know what I'm saying? They, they, did, they could have played us. You know what I mean? And they, I think they did a great job from what I've seen from the trailer and from what everyone else has told me. I did watch watch Stripped Vegas and I was nervous because I feel like um, Stripped Vegas could have been, I, I just feel like the other places that they did this Stripped series, it looked like the strippers were all like struggling and just like, they didn't have much going on outside the club unless it was only fan like it was just I can't explain it. There's nothing wrong with not having nothing going on, but I feel like the other series that they did did not represent like the more positive and like business strippers. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of us in Nashville is a little different from the club to like the girls and everything. And I feel like the maybe that was the difference. I don't know, but I feel like they the other, when I watched the other ones, I was like, damn, the editing, the color grading, like, I was kind of nervous, because it looked like someone, like, filmed it with, like, a camera recorder or something like that, like, the concept was cool, I absolutely loved the concept, but when I looked at, like, how it was put together, and what it, what it made them look like, I was nervous of that, but ours looks amazing, I feel like I'm glad that they did us last. You know what I'm saying? Because we they did a few other ones first, and we were the last ones they did, which means they had practiced a few times. And I feel like you can see the difference in that because we're cute, but we don't just look that much better than any of, of the other group of girls. Like, we're pretty, but, like, so were they. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it was just at that point a matter of, like, practicing and repetition and, hey, like, on the next one we could do this better, we could do this differently. I feel like that's really what made the difference in it. Um obviously we made the difference too but I was nervous initially but I think that they did an amazing job and I'm excited to watch it I just need time to but here I go rambling again and it's 9 55 I need to go to sleep later when I wake up um I have to cook I have to straighten up and then I have to do my hair and shit too before way before we even go to work so I do need to lay down and get some rest um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Oh wait, make sure y'all subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, bye. Bye.